Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my Alpha ABS uh, video tutorial. The version we are going to be using today will be 980, which is the latest version you could get if you're not a Patreon. I'm pretty much going to be teaching you guys how to install uh, the ABS, configure the ABS and be able to use it for your games. So the first step is to, you know, download the plugin itself. So I'm going to leave all the links that you guys will need down below. So if you guys need a link for the script, I mean, plugin is down below. I was also going to include the demo for you guys, but I can't find where I found the latest version of the demo. Cause like it's kind of weird how he does it um where if you go on the plugin page the demo that's this not the latest demo but if i do i'll link it down below so the first step is to obviously download the alpha abs so if you come to the uh the link that i provided below i'm gonna call it alpha abs uh 980 it should take you to this page then all you have to do is um click on alpha abs which is this first link it's gonna um, ask you where you want to download it let's put it on the desktop it's already there replace it's downloaded now um depending on so if you want to add it to your project it's as simple as navigating to where your project is saved opening up your project going down to js going down to plugins and literally just dragging this over here and the plugin is now installed um there's a couple of other files that you do need um, and you could find that in the demo and also if you don't have this particular demo in order to find a demo to just take those files from you could literally just google demo you could get it from the steam workshop if you want or if you just go to the forum post you could literally just download the demo right here but again the demo is not the latest um, version so only download the demo just to get the files that are that are in the demo so those files will be an image uh i believe it's pictures yep pictures now you don't actually need those files because you could make your own um you know graphics and stuff like that but that's just to kind of get you going copy these over well i already have them over there so just to be on the safe side what i recommend you guys do copy the image folder from the demo and just paste it uh, over your current, uh, you know, project and then skip these files. So any files is the same, just skip them. So it's only copying the files that you don't already have. Um, and that should pretty much make sure, um, make sure that you have all the files that you need. Uh, and this works whether if you're starting a new project or, um, you know, adding it to your existing project. Now that we have both of those steps done, we could come back and open up your project all right now if we go over here to our plugin which is this little icon right here uh double click and then it should be right there at the top alpha abs depending on how many scripts you have it might not be at the top all right and make sure it says version 1.2.980 and that's pretty much how you install the Alpha ABS to your game or your new project or um, however you are doing it. Now the next step is pretty much the configuration part of um, the Alpha ABS. Now um, I'm just going to pretty much um, briefly run through the plugin parameters that um, you know you need to change. Okay, so now that we've actually installed um, the plugin, now let's go over the plugin parameters, um, you know, in order to kind of get you up and running. Um, so pretty much a couple of things to take note. So yeah, we're going to skip through the top part because those aren't really important um, to get the system up and running. Um, so player status all the way down to um, player damage outline. Those are uh, pretty much settings that configure how the UI looks in game. Uh, where it says string all the way down to where it says controls those are all pretty much the text that you see in game so for example when you need a target it will say need a target if you can't use an um if you can't use an action it will say can't use an action right now you could actually edit these to whatever you want them to say so this is pretty much all up to you on how you want it to look and um what you want it to say pop up the same thing whenever you um you evade an attack it will say evade whenever you miss it will say miss and so forth option menu 
this is pretty much in your options um, what the menus will actually say uh, so you could show UI edit UI controls and that's the actual text that it will show in the options key binding again these are when you're doing the key binding section it will say press key um, target select and again you could change the text to whatever you want so if you want to add an in-depth description you can if you want to um, but normally I just leave those default spa radius again all of these are all um, whatever you want to change it to it doesn't really matter right you could change the the text to whatever you want so that's all the way to down here to multi hits so where the real um, changes begin is here where it says enemies right so enemy dead switch pretty much is the switch that gets turned on when an enemy dies so if you kill an enemy it will turn on cell switch B or by default me personally I like to set it to D um, although loot just means when the enemy died do you just instantly get the loot that they have or do you have to walk over to his body and hit an action key for you to receive that loot by default it's set to false so that way when you kill an enemy you do have to walk over and get the loot animations this is the animation that plays when an enemy responds cast animation is um, the animation that happens when you're casting a spell or the enemy's casting a spell you know does it show the se true or false level up animation the animation that shows up when you're leveling up um so fun stuff right game over map id so whenever you die you could actually make it so that instead of giving you a game over screen you could actually just spawn to a, uh, a different map and then from that map you can decide what you want to happen um, and then if you leave it zero by default it's just gonna go to the game over screen unless you change that number and then when they're actually transferring to the map this is the direction that they will face and this is the exact coordinates that they will go on that map um, and then this is the common event that will run um, if they die and you if you leave it at zero nothing will happen a lot player transfers I usually leave this to true so all that means is that when you're in battle if you could transfer out of the map or not so let's say an enemy is chasing you that's too powerful this allows you to run into a different map and escape or like if you're just trying to ignore that enemy or go to a different map if you have it to false that means you have to kill the enemy or get away from the enemy and no longer be in battle in order to transfer to a different map solid regions are pretty much regions that enemies cannot spawn in and when you're using your spells and your attacks and stuff like that they can't pass through those regions um, so for example if you have an attack that hits two tiles away if the tile in between you and the enemy is a region that's you know indicated here like let's say for example if it's region one signifying walls and stuff let's say there is a wall there when you hit when you attack that enemy it won't actually hit the enemy because it's a wall right there but if you don't have that it will actually hit that enemy even though even if you do have a wall there without having that region set party experience um and you could set this one i don't actually get oh actually no it's a drop down menu okay now i get it so yeah you could just have it for party share at all um for each member normally by default i just leave it for each member because by default i usually just make open world rpgs that only have one actor enemy spawn map so this is pretty much your template map where you will spawn in your enemies from again we will be going through that in uh further details later on now controls this is pretty much your um the controls on your keyboard so if you want to quick select an enemy the the selection key is q so if you press q it will just um, select the closest enemy to you and if you keep pressing q it will cycle through the enemies that's around you or whatever targets that's around you when you have um guns and stuff that needs to be reloaded when you press r they will reload um instead of running out of bullets and then auto reloading you could just reload by pressing r uh scale panel these are the corresponding keys that will activate the spell that's in the slot so for example um if you press one it will activate spell that's in the first slot well not really a spell literally anything that's in your skill panel so it could be items it could be um spells it could be uh any yeah items or skills one of those two and then you know it'll just press that you could also change these to whatever you want but by default i just leave those there whipping cycle skill um so if you set if you set um what do you call it a quick slot you could you know cycle through those quick slots by pressing w um s d and a um and again we will 
kind of go into detail with that later on. Control panel, skip that follow. Attack is pretty much how you attack by pressing A. You jump by pressing S. You rotate by pressing D. So let's say if you're facing north and you press D, you're going to be facing south. If you're facing west and you press D, you're going to be facing east. And you could enable them or disable them if you want to. That's what the enable means. I really don't know what that follow means. I think it just follows whatever target that you're um, selecting, but I'm not sure. And then weapons. So if you press E, it's going to bring up the weapon cycle, whatever. And then you press W, S, A, D, depending on which weapon you want to, you know, select. All right. That's pretty much it for the plugin perimeters. Now, um, pretty much before we end this video, there is another settings that we do have to set up in the database menu, but we're going to get to that in the next episode. Um, but for right now, if you actually do try to play this game, it's going to say you need set up, um, you need to set up your project for Alpha ABS. Um, and you know, in the next episode, we're going to be going over that. So if you guys have any questions or anything that you want me to go over specifically, definitely leave a comment down below, you know, asking me that question. If you like the video, make sure you like the hit the like button. Um, and if you dislike then make sure you hit the dislike button. That kind of feedback definitely um, helps me out a lot to kind of know where you guys, what you guys like and what you guys don't like. Um, I do plan on releasing this tutorials today and some other ones that I will be making today, but not releasing today. Um, but yeah, got a lot more stuff coming up for you guys. Definitely stay tuned. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff very very soon. Let's make an open world RPG. Um, some more tutorial snippets like making a pet, um, having horse races, maybe a casino, and some other stuff coming up. So yeah, we're definitely going to be doing a whole lot of stuff. So stay tuned guys. Peace.